Corral R has been around for a number of years, but in the last 15 years, it has affected the fine arts world like a like a fungus. <laughs> I'm part of the lowbrow world. The lowbrow world is not only hot rods, bikers, tattoo artists, surfers, illustrators, tattoo artists. There's all this large group that's called lowbrow artists which had an enormous effect on the fine arts world. <clears throat> so what you're looking at here now is not merely just illustration, but it's part of a larger group that's affected our culture in the United States, and especially in Europe and Japan. So some of the paintings you'll see now are probably going to be worth a lot of money in 20 or 30 years. So it's not by chance that these people have selected to have an art show here just because there's a hot rod thing out here. I, you walk these halls and you see representational art. Well, representational art's been dead for 40 years. It's been put out of business and it just takes younger generations to try to rekindle the interest in representational art. So the significance of this thing is of some worth. Now, I'm a guy that started a magazine called Juxtapose Art Magazine. Which, which, is, which is now the top art magazine in the world, see? and it deals with overall art. So the people in New York, the people in London, the people in Rome have to deal with this. There's a big lowbrow show now in Lyon, France. You're aware of it in Tokyo. And it's, this is the family of thought here, this hot and ride show. Could I have the next? Uh... Okay. <clears throat> Okay, uh, this one, this trophy here goes to best car culture. Now, uh, there, in 1993, there was a show in Laguna Beach called Custom Culture. It was a gigantic hot rod show at a real museum. A hot rod show of this funky kind of art at a real museum. See? That show toured the United States, and it left an impression. But it spawned kind of a, a cartoony kind of a realism. I would like to give this trophy to my friend, I don't know if he's present or not, but to the Pids. And uh, this kind of art, hot rod art, filters over into tattoo art. It filters over into girly art. It filters over with influences coming out of girly magazines and even pornography. It's uh, low brow art throws a real wide, wide net. And I'd like to give this trophy to a person that has been on the sidelines for years, working their way up. I'd like to give this to Sarah Ray. Yeah! Yeah!
see these girls. The girls, I know. I think we we'll make a lane of mine and all the girls can walk through <laughs> dressed up. Anyone who wants to be in the contest for sexiest pinup girl and best dress. Okay, tie your shirt up. Tie your shirt up. <laughs> yeah. On the bench, please. All right, thank you. Thank you.